everyone this is henna and welcome to another tutorial of delinear marketing and today i'm going to create this sort of uh, chrome type effect in adobe illustrator on text uh, this is very simple and easy technique that i'm using right now to create this type of effect so if you are learning illustrator or you are a beginner and uh, you you have to create these type of effects in your creatives then might be this tutorial can help you out so let's start now first of all what i'm going to do i'm simply creating a new document here i've already choose the document size is 1280 pixels wide and 720 and higher this is a you know a standard uh, size of youtube thumbnails bleed is zero at the moment color mod that i'm using is uh, uh, rgb i'm not using the cmyk at the moment because it's more recommended for the printing and if you are creating these type of glowing effects then most recommended is to use the rgb color mod so right now i'm using that one but if you are moving towards the printing mode, then you can turn it to CMYK because there is a color uh, shading difference uh, between CMYK and the RGB uh, because the RGB is more recommended for the screen uh, type of graphics and uh, CMYK is more recommended for the printing. So now what I'm going to do, I have just created uh, this new document here and now simply creating a, a rectangular box uh, within the art space and here just turning it to gray in color and just turning off this uh, black color to none so now you can see there is only a fill color which is gray in color so i'm pressing control 2 here just by selecting this layer and press control 2 to lock this layer it will not distract you to work around uh, on the other layers so now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking this type tool from here and writing a simple text uh, by the name of chrome because we are creating a similar effect chrome is a very simple silver metallic or uh, you know gradient type of effect uh, that uh, you can cre easily create normally you have seen these type of effects on different pla pl uh, places most of the famous uh, uh, business companies automotive companies have used these type of uh, graphics uh, to show their brand uh, uh, brand identities or their uh, you know for the branding purpose or, uh, so we have just created the text here by the name of chrome here and now you can see the characters uh, are um, here so i'm going to change the font so i'm using the circle majala uh, the, it's a you know i might be it's a default font of adobe illustrator if it's not then you can uh, download it from the download the font.com because i have downloaded so many fonts from there so might be it's in that so if you are not aware that how to install the font in adobe illustrator then you can watch my video tutorial i will give it the link in the description box so it will be quite easy for you to look around that it, you will get a few minutes to install the font in your system so and now i have just uh, to turn it to circle majala and here i will do the character spacing between these characters will be around 75 points so you can see they are more equally spaced with some distance that is 75 points and now i'm going to change it to bold version so it's more prominent and uh, um, visible on the screen now I'm going to convert into the outline so you can see how it would be look like now and just uh, taking the fill color to the default white and black so I'm just taking this one and now I'm just uh, taking the gradient mod from here and uh, just applying different blending shade to this uh, color which is uh, vertical in terms of shading uh, shading so I want to what I'm going to do I'm simply want to look at uh, like half tone colors like half is uh, gray or half is uh, you know uh, uh, whiter version so it will be it should be look like this so I have just uh, 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 converted into this one now what I'm going to do I'm simply selecting this one press ctrl f9 to open the gradient window here otherwise you can go into the window here and here you can find the gradient other or the shortcut is control f9 so now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking the color mod here and just uh, turning the shade around uh, this one or might be this one or more darker version i want to choose this one here and i want to 
uh, provide the same color to stroke as well so you can see how it's looking now and one more thing that i want to do here i'm simply taking a copy of it press ctrl c and ctrl f and change the color to the to this one here cancel it and now turning off this fill color from here and you can see this is the second layer that we have just created now move it down so you can see how it's looking now alike and here you can bring it to front the other layer and now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking it up and aligned it with some through by showing a 3d look to this design so just like this you can adjust it according to your requirements simply like this and now what I'm going to do I will take this one here and taking it I, I want to keep it more on the right side rather than so it will create a little bit of 3d look to this design and here I want to do one more thing that is uh, this one I want to keep it around two points so it will be more prominent one the front layer of this chrome text and uh, now what I'm going to do I'm simply selecting the first layer of this chrome text and press ctrl C and ctrl F here moving it down like this and here I'm just uh, turning off this fill color from here so, and you can see there is only the stroke color but I'm changing the stroke color to the whiter or virgin so you can see how it would be look like now and here I will go into the effect here I want to choose the blur I want to choose Gaussian blur from here preview it how it would be looking like so I will keep it around 14.1 uh, or might be the I think I I will go with the 30 or 31 so it will be more clear to that and uh, before that what I'm going to do I'm simply taking this uh, um, selecting all the layers two layers of chrome first and press ctrl C uh, sorry press ctrl G to crop it up and now you can just uh, uh, arrange it to the front so bring it to front and now you can keep it here the, this one the blurred layer and here you can see the little type of shading is inside the chrome text if you want to make it more prominent then you can increase the point size so you can see how it would be looking like and if i will change the fill color to that then it will be more visible in that area too so it's the all depend upon you how do you want to keep it how it, it should be look like if uh, if i will change it in a more you know, you know eight points then you can see it's more you know looking glowing and looking more prominent here one more thing that you can do from here uh, before doing that uh, one thing that i'm going to do i'm simply taking this one here like this and selecting this layer and uh, now if i will change the you know uh, the uh, color from here then i i can give it a different look like you can see here you can see these shadings are different so it will be looking like this and if i will go with the yellow one so you can see the shading is different so it will be looking like this now i want to give you a different look of this design here you can see now i'm just giving it a different color to show you how it would look like if you are going to change the color of uh, this gradient so this is very simple and here is the gradient looks that you can easily apply to that and here is the purple pink and different colors format that you can apply so but i want to keep it silver metallic so i will go with this uh, shade right now that uh, you can easily apply and uh, here one more thing before doing that i want to keep it white and might be how it look like 
we want to keep it all white here so this is very simple and easy technique that you can use to create these type of uh, you know effects uh, silver metallic effects or the chrome effects or uh, um, and you can create your creatives and digital sign boards or whatever you want to create you can you just use this um, you know uh, functionality of Adobe Illustrator and you can create diverse type of uh, uh, text uh, effects uh, in Adobe Illustrator very simple and easy way to do so thank you so much for watching if you have any other requirements or if you want me to create some other tutorials related to that then please let me know I will definitely do that thank you so much for watching and have a very good day bye-bye uh, uh, but before that uh, please if you like uh, my t t tutorial then please hit the like button as well thank you so much for, uh, all the best to you have a very good day bye-bye